Hey guys, what's up? This is Leo and welcome to our very first unboxing and first impression video here on Hobbies Unbox. On this channel, we will show you the coolest products for your home, work, and hobbies that will help you decide if this product is also for you. For the longest time, I've been looking for a good but budget-friendly gaming speaker to upgrade myself from this. And today is the day. We will unbox the Edifier G5000 gaming speaker. But first, a big shout out to Funhouse for a very smooth transaction. You will find their store in Lazada. Did you know that I was able to purchase this on a very very low price of 2,489 pesos only? Well, I guess they are in a super sale that day. That's why, kudos Funhouse for delivering bid time. If you are interested, continue watching this video and check their links on the description below. Now, let's open this bad boy. The Edifier G5000 was just recently released earlier this year. Actually, the only available videos and articles are those coming from Spain and Hong Kong. Now, let's take a closer look. In terms of built-in materials, it is made of a wooden cabinet and a matte aluminum side panel. However, the gloss finish somewhat makes it a fingerprint magnet. At the front, you can see the three and a quarter inch titanium dome tweeter and a four inch mid to base driver which delivers 12 watts and 32 watts of RMS power respectively. It has a frequency response between 70 Hz to 40 kHz. Similar to the G1000, it is branded with the Hecate logo instead of Edifier. 
It also shows the high-res audio quality standard that certifies an immersive gaming experience. On the side, you cannot miss the word gaming. It highlights their claim that this is really made for gaming. It also has light strips on each side with 11 different color options. Going at the back of the active speaker, you will immediately see the power cable port and the power switch. The left and right speakers are connected using the provided sub cable. It is detachable so you can easily replace it if there is a break in the cable. You will have multiple options for wide connectivity. You could either use the fiber optic cable, an auxiliary cable, the 3.5mm audio cable, or the USB Type-B to Type-A cables which are included except for the auxiliary. At the back of the passive speaker, all you can see is the sub-cable port. While for wireless connectivity, it has Bluetooth 5.0, which means you can connect it to almost anything. A television, a game console, or any devices which has Bluetooth. At the top of the active speaker, you will see the control panel which contains the multifunction buttons and the volume rocker. The left button serves as the power button as well as the connectivity selection button. Press and hold to power on and off. Similar to the G2000, you will hear a revving sound upon power on. Input. Press to switch between input mode. A computerized voice as well as a blue LED light indicates what type of input mode you have selected. Double click will disconnect your Bluetooth. Press the right button to toggle between the three different sound modes. One for music, gaming, or movies. This time, a red LED light as well as a computerized voice indicates what sound mode you have selected. This also serves as the light effect switch. Press and hold to enable or disable light effects. Just double-click to change the colors. You have the option to switch off the lights if you do not need them. And now, for the most important part. How does it sound? We will have a simple sound check. However, just a disclaimer, I am not an audiophile, that's why I will let it speak for its own sound quality since it will also differ on different settings and different environment. 5, 4, 3, 2, 
Now that we have finished our sound check, it's time for my first impressions. The Edifier G5000 gaming speaker looks excellent and well thought of. It has very versatile connectivity options. It has excellent build and sound quality. And it also looks great on my desk. It checks all the boxes for the purpose that I need it. For the question, would I recommend it? Well, upon checking the updated prices, it is now being sold from around 16,000 to 17,000 pesos. So, if you have the means, I would still recommend it for those who are looking for excellent and quality gaming speakers. However, if you don't have the means, probably you could check the older models such as the G1000 and the G2000 models which are currently being sold at around 2,000 to 3,500 pesos. And that's it for me guys. Thank you for stopping by. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you on my next videos. Peace.